quarterback, uh, Zach Wilson of the New York Jets, noted Cougar Magnet, uh, went down with a knee injury over the weekend. Let's take a look at just what that looked like. Oh, okay. My, my apologies. Uh, it looks like I pulled up the wrong clip. I believe that was Red Sox starting pitcher Chris Sale. Okay, here's the actual injury. So you see uh, play action. Zach Wilson scrambles to the right. It's about five yards upfield, and then you see his knee twinge a little bit. And when I first saw that, I immediately thought, torn ACL. This is it. Zach Wilson, he is done. We will not see him until next season. Well, it looks like the news is a little bit better than that, if you're a New York Jets fan. Uh, the injury, according to Adam Schefter, is a bone, a bone bruise and a torn meniscus. Uh, Wilson is expected to have surgery on Tuesday and they only expect believe it or not Zach Wilson to be out for two to four weeks now I think that's insane two to four weeks I know technology has come a long way uh, but I guess it really just depends I mean meniscus injuries um, if you're having a meniscus repair that can take like six to eight months it can take a very very long period of time whereas if you do an actual uh, meniscus replacement, which means you replace the damaged part of the meniscus or the entire meniscus with some sort of material, um, then the recovery can be much faster. And I believe that's what they're going to do. And that's how they expect it to only be two to four weeks. Uh, we saw a similar injury in the NBA uh, with Celtic center Robert Williams, who went down toward the end of the regular season, was actually back for um, the later first round games of the postseason was only out for like three to four weeks um, for you know a much more a explosive uh, position in his sport not that quarterback isn't explosive but um, some promising news there if you're a New York Jets fan uh, however this is actually the same knee that Zach Wilson hurt last season when he went down with a PCL injury um, and Joe Flacco uh, filled in for him so if Wilson is unable to return uh, by week one of the regular season, uh, which is a big if. I, I would not expect it to happen. Um, then that will mean Joe Flacco will be the starting quarterback for the Jets. And look, there are worse backups to have in your NFL team than Joe Flacco. I know we've kind of gotten the answer with whether or not he is an elite quarterback um, from what we've seen over the last few years, the, his, his last seasons in Baltimore, and then last year as a backup. Uh, last year, um, he started five games for the Jets when uh, Wilson went down, and he lost all five of those games, completing 101 of his 176 passes, so a little over 57%. You know, 60 is that threshold. If you have a quarterback completing less than 60% of his passes, it's not great. Uh, so he did that for about 1,200 yards. He did have nine touchdowns, though, and only three interceptions. So a lot of that isn't his fault. A lot of that is just, you know, the Jets and their O-line and not protecting the quarterback. Um, so, look, I've been told by many Jets fans that this is the year. So, um, you know, they've never said that before. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see how it shows up. But Zach Wilson, not expected to be back for two to four weeks, potentially out. Um, at least the first game of the regular season with Joe Flacco um, filling in.